my Lord Jesus Christ. You assume the wounds and sufferings of humanity. Today I have the courage to beseech you like the good thief. Remember me. Heal me with your grace and teach me hope in the midst of despair. My Lord and my God, I believe. Help my unbelief. Merciful Father, continue to trust in me, to give me fresh opportunities, to embrace me in your infinite love. With your help and by the gift of the Holy Spirit, I too will be able to recognise you and serve you in my brothers and sisters. The first station, Jesus is condemned by Pilate. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is condemned to die like a criminal, even though he is a good man. He is sad that people reject him and do not appreciate his teachings about loving God and our neighbour. When he is condemned, he doesn't get angry or fight back. He accepts his fate. If I can help others by sharing their troubles, make me kind enough to reach out to them, just as you said. The second station, Jesus takes his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. For Jesus, the cross stands for all the world's evil, hatred and cruelty. By his love, he transforms this cross into a symbol of hope and salvation for us. When we make the sign of the cross, we should remember this cross, which Jesus carried out of love for us. Dear Jesus, Please help me to be truly sorry when I have done wrong. Show me how to behave in a way that follows your example of peace and of love. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus falls, he is very exhausted and the cross is very heavy. When we have difficult things to bear, such as worries or fears or sadness, think of Jesus. He falls under the burden of his cross, but then he gets up and begins again. When we are able to get over our troubles and go on, we are like Jesus. Dear Jesus, help us to follow you by making a fresh start each day. Help me to begin each day in a cheerful and caring way, which will bring happiness to others. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. On the narrow roadway, Jesus turns the corner and looks ahead to see his mother. She reaches out in agony to touch him. Jesus knows how sad his mother is, but he is comforted to know that she is there. Sometimes we don't want our family to see us in trouble, but we like to know that they are there to support us and love us. Dear Jesus, help us to appreciate the love that our families have for us. May we be loving members of our families and support each other through sad and happy times. We pray for those who have no family around them. The fifth station, 
Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers notice that Jesus is very weak. He is staggering under the load. So they pull a man from the crowd, a stranger called Simon of Cyrene, and force him to help Jesus carry the cross. Simon didn't want to help at first. He just wanted to see what was going on. However, he did his best and soon was very glad to be helping Jesus. When we have to do things we do not like, help us to accept the tasks and do our best. Help us, Lord, to be kind and helpful, especially to those who are disabled, sick or elderly. The Sixth Station Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A woman named Veronica steps out from the crowd with a towel. She wipes the face of Jesus. When Veronica wipes the face of Jesus, she risks being told off or pushed by the soldiers or even laughed at by the crowd. Her love and kindness overcome her fears. Dear Jesus, help us not to be selfish. May we be friends to people who are unpopular or people who are in trouble and in need. May we stand up for them. The seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The walk is only half over. Even with Simon's help, Jesus falls again under the weight of his heavy cross, but he gets up and moves on. Jesus is burdened with our sins and the sins of the whole world, but he wants to overcome these sins and forgive us all. Dear Jesus, help us to persevere, to help you overcome the sins of the world. We are your hands and feet on earth, doing good for others around us. Help us to not give up. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now Jesus passes by a group of women from Jerusalem. They are weeping for him because he is suffering so much. Jesus tells them not to weep for him, but for themselves and for their children, because the cruel things that happen in the world will surely touch them just as they are affecting him. The world can be cruel. Women and children are often the first to suffer because of war and violence in some countries. Jesus, may we always try to help people in the world who need such things as food, clean water, safe housing, a peaceful environment, and especially women and children. Help us to contribute towards making the world less cruel. The ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus has no more strength left. He has climbed a hill carrying his heavy cross. Again he falls and struggles to stand up. Jesus has chosen the way of the cross out of his love for us. The path of following Jesus is not an easy one. 
Many people have been killed in the past because they were followers of Jesus. And there are martyrs in our own time who are persecuted by those who choose violence instead of the path of love offered by Jesus. We pray for all who have been faithful witnesses to the teachings of Jesus. May their lives be an inspiration to us. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus has reached the top of the hill. He is allowed to put down the cross. While Jesus stands in front of the crowds, the soldiers pull off his clothes. Jesus is treated as if he were worthless and is left standing embarrassed and humiliated. When we have plasters taken off cuts, we know how it hurts. When the soldiers pull off Jesus' clothes, it must have really hurt him, but he is very brave. Dear Jesus, help us to be brave like you. May we never be spiteful to others who hurt us. Help us always to be peacemakers. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers make Jesus lie down on the cross, and they nail him to it. He is securely fastened. He cannot escape. Whenever we are injured or sick in bed, we remember Jesus, who chose to die this way, to show how much he loved the world. Jesus understands what it is like to feel trapped and to be in pain. Jesus, we pray for people in our parish and local community or people we know elsewhere who are in pain or who are sick, particularly those sick with the coronavirus. We remember those who are in hospital today. Bring them comfort and relief. Thank you for all carers who try to relieve pain such as doctors and nurses. The Twelfth Station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. After hours of hanging on the cross, Jesus dies. Although it is daytime, the sky turns black, the earth shakes, and a big crack appears in the temple in Jerusalem. Just before he dies, Jesus asks God to forgive those who are killing him. Then he says, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Even in his last moments, Jesus thinks of others. He gives us a wonderful example of gentleness and thoughtfulness, despite his own suffering. Jesus teaches us how important it is to forgive and be reconciled to one another and to God. May we always recognise the presence of God in our lives. Bless especially today those people who are dying and those who love them. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now that Jesus is dead, Joseph and Nicodemus gently take him down from the cross and place him in the arms of his mother. Mary held Jesus like this when he was a baby, but now 
There is no life left in him. How terrible she must have felt, remembering all the wonderful days she had spent with him. When we are sad because we have lost a relative or friend, Mary understands our loss and sadness. Jesus, we remember all mothers and fathers who have lost their children due to illness or injustice, violence or accident. Let your mother Mary be a consoling influence and help them to cope. The 14th station, Jesus is buried in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The final resting place for Jesus is a tomb in a nearby garden. He is covered with cloth, placed inside, and a stone is rolled across the entrance. The friends of Jesus feel very discouraged, and they lose hope. They think this is the end of the story of Jesus and his teachings. But we know better, don't we? Thank you, God, for sending your son, Jesus, to live among us and die for us. Thank you for your love of humanity and for your beautiful creation. May we learn to trust in God when things seem to go wrong. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you.